Here's your 41 Action News update. I'm Gabriela Pagan with 41 Action News. Here are your headlines. The number of coronavirus related deaths in the U.S. is now at nine total. All of those victims were in Washington state. Health officials there say most of them lived in the same nursing home facility in Kirkland, Washington. There are now more than 100 cases in the United States. Fears of the coronavirus caused another chaotic day for the stock market. It fell sharply this afternoon, closing down 788 points. And the Missouri Attorney General is cracking down on a contractor facing lawsuits from several folks in the metro. Mike Ross is now facing consumer fraud charges against people in Jackson County. He is the owner of Building Pro. 41 Action News has covered cases and complaints against him for years. Dozens of families tell 41 Action News they paid him thousands of dollars to do work. They say he never finished those projects. And a major construction project is slated to start later this month on I-35 near 75th Street. There, crews will expand to add another lane going in both directions to help prevent the bottleneck congestion in the region. KDOT recommends drivers avoid the area by using Shawnee Mission Parkway to Antioch Road between 67th and 87th Streets. That project is expected to be completed by November. And the Shawnee Mission School District, as well as the Teachers Union, will use a federal mediator to fix the issues with its current contract. This all comes after both sides reached an agreement. Mediation is now scheduled for this Thursday. Last month, the Kansas Labor Secretary ruled the school board's three-year contract offer violated provisions requiring the contract to be on a year-to-year -year basis. Your forecast with Jeff Penner is up next. Thanks, Gabriella. And tonight, 39 degrees. The winds will pick up a little bit as a little weak cold front comes through. It is a very weak cold front because it's just going to be a degree or two cooler tomorrow. 60 degrees, a nice day. Now, the sun is going to shine through some high clouds as the storm system tracks well to our south. And then Thursday, another nice day, 61, mostly sunny. Another little weak cold front comes through. A little more active weather pattern possible next week. You can get your news and weather anytime on KSHP.com.